Hello, and welcome back. So, we've got... It doesn't look like we have the food that I wanted, but... Uh, oh, it did finish the other dock. So now what we can do is we want to drop off all of the food and all the stone and then we should just go back and forth oh actually we want this to be drop off and let's see how are we doing on this? Are we still... Yeah, we're still waiting on people. So, what we'll do... as much at the beginning. Uh, the question is, is it too much of a drain on their resources? Um, so that's still going to be positive. That may dip a bit. That might be something that we need to spend just a bit of resources on. Oh yeah, we don't even have the, the other one over here. So let's go ahead and put that in. That's no problem at all. Um, this, however... That's a little out of our reach. And at least until we start getting the iron um, unloaded and everything. see if these guys start to get the um, the wood incoming right away. Perfect. Okay, so actually if that's the case, I might wait so I can get another cottage. Yeah, that's what I'll do. definitely helps us out like the early days to be able to just kind of spoon out a little bit of our resources to our colonies to give them a boost. Um, I don't think we're in too much danger. We, we held off a lot of things all together at the same time a couple episodes back with the dragon attack and the viking attack at once so I think I think we're good for now okay once we get more more wood over what I think I'll do is actually chop a row up and try to find the perfect place to put you know, the second layer. That way, that way nothing interferes with itself. Oops. Why do I suddenly get the feeling I'm going to regret not building up a better defense early? got those. Um, how are we doing on gold? 78. Okay. We can, we can afford it. And we can tax the cred out of them once they're happy from the, uh, 
once they're happy from the dragon kill bonus. If we can manage to get it this time, if all of our important towers aren't busy. Still doing awesome on food. These guys probably can't hold any more food. Here. So what we'll do is simply just take off the food from the route and we'll just let them kind of stew on that for a bit. going to have to tell him to drop off the food. There. And then he'll get rid of it and then we can just go, go right back to everything else. Uh, I do need to go ahead and throw in a small granary. Wow, my voice Going a little on the out. And hopefully that'll enable them to get a little bit more wood for us. Alright, let's go to the dragons. Again, multiple, plural. We will start getting damage in early, though, until we reach the ballistas. Balliste, we will. Um, Try not do too much damage. Oh, he's already swiveling. Uh, you're not supposed to go for those. I don't appreciate that. Okay, well, let's kill this one. Hopefully. I swear if you burn that hovel down. Oh boy. Yeah, you you have evoked the wrath of my people. You and your kin and all you shall ever be like related to shall die a horrible painful death at my people's hands. I don't know how much these guys can hold. It's actually... I've probably already overloaded what they can do. Oh. Aha! <laughs> you have succumbed. Okay. So industry. Forester. So that's that's the problem. Okay. Uh, oh, there's trees there now. That's dumb. So we've got a lot of stone should have a lot of wood, please. Like if I could go straight to manners, that would be great. We didn't even have enough wood for that. Ouch. And we probably put granary workers really high too. Um, great. <laughs> yeah. Let's put the timber workers up, not above the, the f food. Uh, 
hopefully that will get this back up to normal. I say things are easier and then I go and put my foot in my mouth like that. So gold is persistent across all of your kingdoms, that's cool. even, I think. Yeah, that's even. And so we have a merchant. So is there anything that we want for these guys? Um, no. We're good, thank you. Did you even... Did you even bring anything? Okay. How are we doing on jobs over here? Still lacking some clergy. But overall, we seem to actually have kind of hit a you know, critical mass where we're not creating the jobs as fast as we're getting the people. So, hopefully that shall help. Okay, so we got that. Let's go and put in another hovel. And then we're, we're just going to stack them, I don't care. So, uh, more stone roads. Oh, wait a minute. Did I say stone road? No, just regular road. Just the regular road. Alright, and then put in our other forester, and hopefully that'll stabilize a bit. And. Almost want to start like turning the foresters off. Where did this other forester go? I guess it got burned. Yeah, that's weird. Didn't see it. But we're gonna run probably just one more road across. Maybe another one, depending on, you know, the extent of our food needs. Doesn't seem to be too much of an issue at the moment. How are we doing over here? Can we afford more hovels? Yes, wait, nope. Mm -mm. Nope, not, not like that. Oh, town. Build wells. So wells, how are we doing? Okay. And over here. Um, let's put one there, just because we're not going to put anything else there, and we've already cleared it out. So might as well, right? So, industry, forester, and that does seem far enough away. It overlaps, but it's not saying it's too close, so we'll go with it. Also, how am I supposed to get the, the road to the other side? Let's just run the road up this way, up here. That way it's outside of the thing. And we can get another road of raw food in there. Um, now I have to dig into this.
by the time we get that up, we don't have enough wood, then, you know, we just need to throw the whole thing out and start all over again, right? I'm looking for more, f you know, like, fertile land, so I can build more, um, so I can get better food production, but not quite in the cards just yet. So we're gonna put it here. So we need to clear the trees there first, as well as there and there. And then, let's see if we can get another road in there, awesome. So, the other thing that I wanted to do was work on this one's roads. Again, increasing the uh, rate at which food travels to and from not only the center of my colony, but towards the edges of it. That should be good. And start on this end. Again, just doing the main thoroughway right now. Thoroughfare, whatever. Mostly because we're already out of stone again. But I believe that will help our our travel problems. This one's starting to grow at a good rate. We can build our road up into here. And as soon as that tree comes down, we can build our other forester. Awesome. just want to go for the best coverage on those so we don't have to worry about stupid fires coming in this at stupid times. Alright, so we managed to say st yeah, stay safe for another episode. Luckily no one really decided to try it too much. I feel like this this area is going to get the brunt of the next attack. Especially if I... How are we doing on money? 65 plus? That's awesome. And we're still at 66%. Nice. That's cool. So, let's go ahead and add that in. I said we weren't going to do much defense building, but... I'd hate for me to get into the next episode and... Not have good enough defenses to stave off whatever they decide to send our way. So, um, yeah, that's kind of important to me. Alright, well, on that note, I would like to thank you guys for watching. I really enjoy making the videos, you know, planning all this out, making all of it work, and, uh, you know, try not to have too much of an overstock of anything, you know, try and keep everything within operational parameters. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Remember, like, subscribe, comment below, all that good stuff. Hit the bell if you want to be notified of every episode that comes out. Uh, 
thank you again, and I'll see you guys next episode. Bye-bye.